anyway, Portuguese immersion experience. It's going from strength. It's going from strength to strength, isn't it, Anna? It is. Yeah, really happy. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. We had. We just had last week. We had our third edition. Did you? Uh, yeah, which was wow. another success. Um, people were really happy. Uh, amazing vibe every time. So I'm really happy with the. Oh, there we are. <laughs> uh, with yeah, the the collaboration with Anna and Ricardo from the Bayer Cultural is yeah, that is spot on. Um, I really. Oh, are you still there? Okay. <laughs> I had a black screen. On. No, I'm just doing a slideshow while you're talking yeah. there. Is that all right? Because these pictures... Yeah, yeah, are... yeah. But I had a black screen all of a sudden, so I was oh, dear. fearing. Okay. No, we're, yeah. we're seeing the pictures. We're seeing the pictures. Though. Okay, lovely. Yeah, I mean, they're telling, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah. yeah. You can see... Uh, well, you can see how it went. Yeah, really. Uh, oh, there's happy Ricardo. Faces. Yeah. yeah, I had, I had some of his food on Friday. It was superb. Yeah. And while we were there, yeah. actually, Mrs. M said, You've got to take a picture of that cabinet, uh, which I think oh, is yeah. behind. No disrespect. Yeah, they're behind. Place. Yeah. But the That's ephemera, is that what it's called? The the souvenirs, the mementos, the keepsakes mm -hmm. of Portuguese life. She has, they're, they're tucked into every corner, aren't they? Of yeah, this incredible they are. restaurant. And that uh, cabinet there, you might see at your grandma's, um, is, is full of miniatures, isn't it? Of various Portuguese yeah. beverages. On top is some... Uh, Bordalo style um, crockery, original, not not copies, but some original Caldas de Reña cabbage leaf pottery, and that is just one small section of the restaurant where. Oh the, yeah, it, you can see time can, capsule. Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed, and then you have the music um, that she's. There's never a radio on. It's always like the uh, vinyl um playing or live music even better so it's yeah it's really a place to visit absolutely and some amazing people just... here anna you've got this character here with this this man um he has a oh. little dog called shadow doesn't he a little chihuahua which is well, it's not his it's not his, his dog no it's pedro's dog um oh, but uh, this is yeah this is michelle uh the belgian that, that uh, runs together with pedro runs the pit stop in san martin yes um, yeah and he has like the yeah but it's funny to see the little chihuahua with michelle that's true yeah, they, they, they're a, a comedy <laughs> duo aren't they the the, the, yeah. the, massive, the the huge belgian man and his and the tiny little companion chihuahua yeah so yeah. fantastic pictures there if, for anyone who doesn't know what you're doing with the immersion experience what was the idea you set out with and congratulations on completing your third successful one Thank you, thank you. Um, well, the idea is, and was and still is, um, to do something other than just, I know lots of people are trying um, and it's really hard and not always enjoying uh, doing uh, language lessons to, you know, get that Portuguese going. Mm -hmm. um, so we're trying to organize events and this is the first one, so slowly but surely, um, organize events that include language instruction or lessons or whatever you want to call it, but in a, like in a relaxing setting, having the effective filter completely open. Um, and meanwhile, learning about the culture. So learning how to cook this, this one, we learn how to cook some Portuguese dishes. Of course we eat them and we have nice drinks. <laughs> And we, you know, like immersed in the in the um, in the setting and in the Portuguese culture. And then we have Portuguese guests who uh, join us at the table to, um, yeah, to have some chit chats in Portuguese. And some of them, some of our people that come already speak quite well. Some have two or three words, and that's all of that is fine. It doesn't matter what your level is. You're just welcome to, like. Um, yeah get into into the vibe and the why of your learning beautiful journey because it is a journey of course yes. um so that is uh, that's what we're trying to do um yeah. and this is the the first uh, uh, initiative and we've had three of them now and i must say um i've long just you know put the pictures on facebook and everything and we're already half full for the next edition so that's are you? Really great nice. stuff and how do people if people want to uh i think oh yeah i'll have some of that Where, how do they find out about it and book up well i i have a facebook or we have a facebook page now the portuguese immersion experience so if you google that on facebook you might you well you should find it or you yeah i'll see if i can do that give everyone okay a, all right what are people so, saying 
I've got immersion water heater. I, I've, I've got to do a little bit more of a search. <laughs> <laughs> the Portuguese immersion heater. That's not it. That's, That's a not the one. one. Yeah. Right. Can't so help what, with that. No questions about that. <laughs> what are your what are your participants saying? Well, you can read it all on the on the Facebook page because I post the 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 oh, reviews, cool. but there's nothing but positive. People are really, really happy. And I have some people who are waiting, you know, um for uh, the next opportunity to do it again. Oh, <laughs> so that's cool. Really okay. Nice. Yeah. Must be good. Right. Have, yeah, some uh, hardcore fans of the place and the event. So that's really nice. And well, we've got some new events probably coming up. You? There's one, yeah, there's one I had contact, um, good talk with a bakery in Ooh. so it's again food sorry it's food again uh well, but i know that people yeah. love love yeah. food of course Definitely. um yeah so one of the bakeries in San Martin went hey what are you doing there i want that too uh in my bakery it would be great and uh, she has some amazing ideas so does it begin with c pardon does the bakery begin with c i don't want to give anything away but does it begin with it's c the, it's the one that begins with c on top oh of my that. word that is going to be fantastic well done yeah. Anna, on securing that and, i and haven't done anything yet but yeah so, so right. um I'm yeah really yeah there was there is um yeah there is something coming up so you might just might uh learn how to prepare your favorite sobremes oh <laughs> In, uh, yeah in well Portuguese done. and with it. yeah, so that would be great. All right, um, we found it. We found it. Have I'm you hoping, found it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm hoping nobody sends me a disgusting Facebook message, which sometimes happens, and, and I hope yeah. that's not blasted across the screen as we're talking. No, no, I can't see any. Um, thank you for a wonderful evening. The Portuguese and English were easy for me to understand. The food was delicious. I will be back as soon as possible. Super friendly team. Great Portuguese experience. Thank you for the cooking, food, and music as well as music in there. I will grow in confidence with my Portuguese, and listening to the group really helps. So there you go. Um, yeah, this is fantastic, Anna. It's a great job that you're doing. I think you've got thank you. You've got fan mail uh, coming in about it as well. And uh, when we first talked about it, of course, it was going to be part of um, a bigger event, wasn't it? Which I think we'll still have, won't we? I, mean, I think that's the idea, isn't it? We, uh, it's oh, absolutely right. the idea, yeah. I, I really still want to organise a three-day event, um, two or three days, in San Martín. Um, yeah. And we still have the, well, good um, connect, great connection with uh, the Storytellers Palace. So I'd love to oh, have, yes. like... A, yeah, I mean, the setting is just so unique there, and um, people are amazing. Everyone who goes there has been there says the same. It's some, it's just a really special place because of the building, but also because of the people that work there. And uh, Marco is amazing, and his yeah. staff is. Um, so I would like to do like a, a, a true uh, language uh, project where we go three days and try to really learn the language um while using it in all different uh, types of uh well smaller events like we're doing right now uh the isolated one uh but um yeah i'd love to have a three-day event and uh for the people who are really serious about <laughs> learning the language in um yeah well, you have, well, you have a particular way. Well, don't experienced you? it, experience yes. in it. Yes, it's very I, I think the, the embedding of what people learn yeah. is, is, is yeah. really uh, very different in how you do it. No disrespect to other styles. People have their own well, favorite no. ways of learning things, don't yeah. they? Your, yours is an experiential and fun way of learning, I would say. Mm -hmm. And for it to so. scale up and perhaps, um, you know, we've, we've, we've got these discovery weekends emerging now. Um, we've got the first one booked in Lisbon, but we're going to stay south of the water to give people an amazing experience of Lisbon south of the water on the 16th and 17th of September. Then we go to Tamar on, on well, outskirts. Again, it'll be, it won't be like at Tamar as you know it. It will be, you know, be locals involved and giving us a slightly different experience. And we'll be popping out to the legendary Al Viagra as well uh, on the 14th or 15th or both of october we've got braga in may of 2024 
Um, you and I are thinking when we might have our weekend in San Martino de Porto. And you said it needs to be springtime, doesn't it? So maybe next year, spring in San Martino de Porto? Yeah, I think it's, it's uh, well, it, everything is more beautiful when the sun's out and when it's warm. But we have this gorgeous bay. I mean, you have to be able to um, fully um, appreciate the beauty of the bay, I think. And it's yeah. just a nice idea to start spring, you know, life uh, starting all over again. And then you returning to your homestead <laughs> to do your yes. weekend. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, what do you? How, yeah. What does that sound like to you, James? Are you going to join us in in, in spring of twenty four in San Martino de Porto? I'd love to. Uh, part of the the challenge for me is around transportation. Uh, it's not that big a challenge, but uh, and then the, the while I only work a couple of days a week, it's what day it falls on. Because if it's a work day, yeah. then that doesn't work. But other than that, absolutely, yeah. These are weekends. The, 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 the format will, will, the venue and the location will change. But the basic format for these is um, to arrive. Some of the Gumpers might like to hang out on the Friday night um, and just, you know, acclimatize and, and, and take on board some of that incredible um, substance for helping to speak Portuguese, which is often red wine. Uh, and Portuguese wine. So we start as we mean to go on on a Friday night, perhaps with a couple of glasses of vinho and some conviviality and a bit of Portuguese. And Saturday, brunching together, we'll pick somewhere where we can meet and brunch and maybe a tour on the um, on the Saturday afternoon, then a party on the Saturday night, then another brunchy affair on the Sunday morning and another tour on the Sunday afternoon and then home uh, and having booked up for the next one um on the sunday afternoon so that's the basic format wherever we go or the or the working you know the the draft idea basically of how we might do these um and it, and i think that could fit quite nicely couldn't it with the immersion experience anna that style it could it could um have to see how we um do, yeah but yeah yeah absolutely i Excellent. think the, yeah. the yeah. significant difference is the intentionality with language in the immersion experience because yeah. uh, i've been with well-intentioned english-speaking people say oh let's speak portuguese and that's good yeah. for about three minutes and then it's all english again so yeah, having yes. that intentionality is, still... is part of an event yeah How but i think it's still it's still a balance that you have to we, we don't that's the first thing i say when we start the 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 um, cooking lesson or the language cooking lesson uh, at the Bayer is we're not at school. I'm not going to like say, let's, you know, just Stop if, if speaking people, English. Yeah. <laughs> some people are really, really, really uncomfortable. And the idea is just that by the end of the night, they feel confident enough to try at least. And that if you have that, you've, it's done. It's, it's Brilliant. mission accomplished. You know, it's not about, um, because it's so, I, I understand it must be to many people, it's very daunting to come somewhere, to be somewhere and to, I've had, um, for the, the second event, I had, uh, someone booked the session and, uh, he couldn't find the venue. So, um, it was my fault. I didn't, you know, I just gave the address and apparently Google maps brings you somewhere, not there. And it's, it's very test, difficult. Isn't it? Isn't that the yeah, first the test? It's a Portuguese well, culture it, test. It's fine. Yeah, find, yeah, find, find it. Find it. So, and he couldn't find it, and he didn't want to ask because it was already like out of. He just rode up to me. It was just so much out of my comfort zone. So I just, you know, gathered my my courage, booked it, went, couldn't find it, and then went. Aww. Oh, that's a sign. I don't want to be there. <laughs> you Aww. know. And he returned home. So I mailed him after that, and I said, "Oh no, you must." Come next time you must you must come um i can refund you but i would really like you to be there especially because you don't feel comfortable mm. because of that that's the reason why you have to be there um i promise you won't regret it so um so this time he returned <laughs> and it was the one that whole night he was saying oh this is so great oh when when i'm coming back again we're doing this again i'm so happy i i've done it so happy i've done it so if that is well that is great isn't it and it it's is not about he's, yeah. he didn't you know he didn't go back with um 
like being completely bilingual <laughs> that's not the 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 goal of the the evening is just to feel comfortable in a setting where people speak portuguese yeah. um and comfortable enough to not feel an outsider and to try to learn and to grow in the process um that is what we're trying to do so, yeah. well one of the things you've referred to in the past and about language that i really appreciate is how we acquire language in the first place yeah. and that's with loving support of the people around us who are masters at that so we have parents or family or people who are giving us space to get it wrong and, and gently wrong. lovingly helping us to understand how to do it right yeah. um, and i think that's what I'm hearing and from what I'm seeing in the visual evidence with the photos, that's what people are getting. I mean, the energy of the photos was amazing. It's like yeah. everyone was smiling, but it wasn't for yeah. the camera. It was for yeah. the experience. Yeah. And that's, yeah. I think that's the thing with languages to feel comfortable, to feel supported and have people who know who can help you to understand better, but not in a way that's, instructive per se like Indeed. i'm going to be your yeah. teacher now it's just yeah. like no way you, you might yeah. you would say it this out. way there'll be a test at the end of the yeah of yeah, the, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah yeah so that is exactly what we're trying to do so it's lovely and yes. okay food and drinks help of course <laughs> it sounds yeah. like you always do. Uh, and uh, i think uh, gene makes a good point here great to see you gene this morning uh you can't be afraid to make mistakes talking with native speakers some of my best learning has come from misspeaking and being corrected oh, and, absolutely. I, and I, I dare say as well how the portuguese people generally speaking uh talk to you and and hold you like a parent who wants you to walk rather yeah. than rather than a victorian nanny who berates you every time you crawl because uh, some people are some some you know some nationalities are like that aren't they? they take a very dim view of not doing their language yeah. very well you know who you are mm -hmm. whereas the portuguese, the portuguese are like yeah way to go you just stood up yeah, and ran across the room you're lying down again now but you had to go <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, true. it's exactly it's what true. james said that loving reception that you because get. they they i think they um for that part we are the resemblance is is enormous in the sense that they feel the same way when they have to speak english yeah they know that fear they know that fear of mistakes they know the feeling of not being good enough um so that is something they recognize so they really appreciate when we try yeah. yeah, there you go. Receive a yes, lot of encouragement yeah. for trying. Okay. I want to run the uh, Learn About Portugal quiz past you both, and then we can perhaps conclude, because we haven't heard from you, Anna, on the mindful missing thing. And we wouldn't, because it's a new thing this morning that James has okay. given us a label for. <laughs> Typical therapist. Mm -hmm. um, only joking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the but there's alliteration in that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Top marks for the, for the alliteration. Mindful and yeah, missing. Or, what you might miss from from belgium your native belgium if anything um so the um let's have a look at the learn about portugal quiz question for today the 10th of july 2023 um i have portuguese to block that, that image i'm tired of seeing you're that not, you're not enjoying that image it's, it's on quite a repetitive and insistent loop anyway um learn about portugal quiz monday 10th of july 2023 pictured here is uh, by randy's recent visit to a central portugal event featured, of course, on our Gumper map, where a grid is laid out upon a field and animals are invited to roam freely. Apparently, in this particular scenario, there was a pig, a goat, a duck, a piglet, and two rabbits and two cockerels who were unleashed. The winners of the game choose the correct grid reference upon which the collected animals unload their waste products, so to speak. What is the, what is the correct name for this quaint and fragrant competition? Is it Spot the Bowl? Is it Cagadela do Animal? Is it Campo de Coco? Or is it Barnyard Battleships? Or finally, the Field of Bad Dreams? Uh, there you go. Would either of you care to hazard a guess on that? I think it's going to be Campo de Coco. <laughs> Sounds. <laughs> I, I, I was going for that one too. And I said, well, there's alliteration in that as well. So <laughs> but I have to say, this is not only Portuguese. Is it not? It's They're not, not the only ones that have this. It exists. It exists in Holland. Does it? And it and it's called Schetjerek, and it means shit yourself rich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they win. They win, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Shit okay, yourself yeah, rich. Yeah. Yes. I know okay. it, it. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> All right. Yeah. For anyone who was uh, offended by that, <laughs> sorry, I was a bit late. Wait <laughs> again. <laughs> so yourself rich um is the name yeah. the duck 
give that game. Okay, well, right. So it perhaps comes from agricultural traditions rather than particularly Probably. traditions. Just board, board. Yeah. Yes. What game. are you going to do? Work game day is to... done. We got all these animals. Let's have some fun. Yeah. So what? I can what? imagine. Yeah. I can imagine how it'd be invented. You know, having a couple of beers after after a half hard day's work and just yeah. watching the animals shit and go. If we just draw lines now and we bet yeah. on where. <laughs> That was and it may good. even started with predicting where a given animal was going to do that. Yeah. Just sitting watching. Oh, that one's going to do it on that rock over there. Yeah, I can imagine how it was born, yeah, the idea. Probably, sure. Uh, yeah. James is already thinking, I suspect, of a wilderness version, which takes 10 years to complete, where you're waiting for an Iberian lynx to crap in a very particular small <laughs> square in the middle of nowhere. That's a <laughs> lifetime of work right there. It's a lifetime of work. So you know, thank you for your contributions. <laughs> on that it was more than i was hoping for yeah. um, so um you mind... asked for it. yeah i did mindful missing uh, anna do you anything you missed from the old place very difficult question um of course i miss my family and my friends yeah yeah, yeah. that's obvious See? Uh, but other than that um i love your what you said carl like i've never felt as at home as i do here and especially what you said after that, you, you know, it's wherever you go, you always take yourself with you. Yep. And it, you can't, you can't run from yourself. So if you take yourself with you wherever you are and you are happy with the way that you are now and the life that you are living and the choices that you have made that have led up to that life, then I think, um, that is the key to being happy. Um, and I am very happy with the choices I've made. Um, well, not all of them, but the ones that brought me here. <laughs> not, the ones you're happy with. I'm very happy with all my choices. Though. Yeah, that's, that's so <laughs> you're happy with the choices that you're happy with, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and generally so, speaking, more happy than not, by the sound of it. And, oh, and I, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you, you feel so. You that resonated with you. This although, absolutely, yeah, one hundred percent. I do feel at home here, and it is, of course, because of the beauty of the country and the people and everything. But yeah. it is more about what the like the the feeling to me of finally have done what I believed I needed to do for me. Yes, and right. um, not being worried about all the things to be worried about and all the um, um, negative thoughts that you tell yourself, but also that other people, you know, they go like, oh, is that, would you do that? And what are you going to do there? And why? And uh, like, <laughs> yeah, just, uh, yeah, feel liberated more than, but because of that, even more than because of the country. Mm -hmm. yeah Superb. Glad, yeah. so glad to hear that that's wonderful um yeah. so yeah. um congratulations on your your third successful immersion experience um here's Thank to you. many more and Thank seeing you. it evolve I, I think when you run events like this things mm. happen don't they that aren't a part of the original because you, you 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 had the idea yourself didn't you and it's that exists within your own imagining and hopes for this event and then presumably yeah. as, as people come and book on and take part in it, they're bringing you new ideas that you might run with as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And 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 also you, well, it's, it's with everything because you say it's, it lives in your head, but it only comes to life when other people are joining, uh, whether it is Anna and Ricardo, uh, with, you know, with whom I've had great like meetings or talks about ideas and about like um, the philosophy behind everything and um, uh, it's and all all the people coming to the event and and they bring their own story and it's just so an enriching uh, experience uh, it's much more than just something that you want to launch or the, yeah they are so wonderful. it's uh, well, yeah they, it's, yeah they'll be celebrating Anna was telling me on Friday night that they'll be celebrating seven years there uh, later mm -hmm. on yeah and that's yeah. a great achievement i think in in hospitality oh they they're yeah 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 they're yeah, amazing they have lots so, of, yeah they're amazing yeah by a cultural bar i made a little video about it a long time ago and and uh, perhaps uh, if you turn up there you can say as a gumper any chance of a go on the decks um, as a little uh, gumper special there. So you can go and DJ at the Biocultural Bar because you're a gumper. <laughs> I'm sure she won't mind. Anna, great job. Last words to you Thank then. You. Uh, our, our mindful missing and mindful migration man, James, what more might you say to conclude on this matter? 
<laughs> well, I guess it, it's pretty much the same every week, which is for me, I've, I've experienced uh, a lot of personal power in being mindful in mm -hmm. taking time to look within, in assessing what's going on with myself and coming up with some ideas. Because from there, then I can make the choices I need to make to, as Anna said, be happy. Those are the choices we're talking about. Um, so there's power in that. And I always encourage people to take a moment, maybe not as many moments as I do, but, <laughs> <laughs> but take a moment to, if something feels a little off, like something doesn't feel quite right. Like maybe it feels like I'm missing something like rather than go up, oh, it's not important. Take yeah. a moment. Say, what is that? What is that? What's that coming from? And I think what you discover is incredibly empowering. So that's Early. what I would say. You get, take a a moment. you get a round of applause for that. I love it. Oh no, that's not the round of applause. <laughs> You get, you get cancelled for that. I'll be the round. I'll Anna, be the round. Thank you. Anna, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Anna, thank you so much for being here this morning. So just one last reminder of the Learn About Portugal quiz this morning. Which... <laughs> oh, thank you so much for that, Carl. Yeah, thank you. Uh, apparently they do in the Midwest. Apparently. Time for breakfast. <laughs> Nice and smart milk. Okay, um, so it doesn't just happen in Portugal, but uh, there is a particular name for it in Portugal, which I'd like you to guess at learnaboutportugal.com. Anna, have a great day. James, have a great day, and we'll see you all again you in the morning. Take care, and bye for now. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye, bye-bye.